Hi friends, let's see the application of Norton's theorem to a simple problem. So in this problem, I have a current source of 10 ampere and a voltage source of 20 volt with resistances 6 ohm and 3 ohm. I have two open terminals A and B across which I need to replace this circuit by a current source in parallel with a single resistance. In other words, I need to replace this circuit as a Norton's equivalent circuit. So, let us follow the procedure. Step number 1, calculation of I n. For this, I need to close these two terminals by a link. So, I will write over here short circuit A and B terminals that will give you a circuit all the elements are same just a modification is short circuiting these two terminals A and B and I need to find out the current flowing through this link which I will denote it as I n. I have three loops, I can get three loop currents I 1, I 2 and I 3. As per the current directions, I will have voltage drops and now I am applying KVL to individual loops. No need to apply KVL to loop number 1 because loop current I1 is fixed by this current source. So, I can directly write I1 equal to 10 equation number 1. Let us apply KVL to loop number 2. I will start from this point. So, here to here there is no element. Here it is plus minus. So, it is minus 3 I 2. One more drop in this direction is minus plus. So, that is plus 3 and the current is responsible is I 3 and here to here minus plus a voltage source. So, it is plus 20 equal to 0. Let us rearrange the terms. So, I will have minus 3 I 2 plus 3 I 3 on one side of the equation and constant minus 20 I will take to other side. I will get equation number 2. Similarly, I can apply KVL to loop 3. So, loop 3 I can start from this point. Luckily, we are not having any element till this point and directly I am having this 3 ohm resistance whose drop is plus minus. So, which is minus 3 I 3 and in the same direction I have one more drop that is minus plus. So, it is a plus 3 current is I 2 for the 6 ohm in this direction it is plus minus minus 6 I 3 and again one more drop minus plus because of I 1. So, it is plus 6 I 1 equal to 0. 
if i rearrange the term i will get 6i1 plus 3i2 minus 9i3 equal to 0 i will get equation number 3 solving equation 1 2 and 3 I will get I1 as 10 ampere, I2 20 ampere and I3 equal to 13.3333 ampere. I want IN. So, if I see properly I3 is nothing but IN in the same direction that is from A to B. So, I can write Norton's current I n equal to I 3 13.3333 ampere and the direction will be from A to B. Step number 1 is over. Let us go to step number 2 calculation of R n. For this, we need to open circuit a load resistance, but luckily it is not given only. So, it is already open. Then we have a current source, we need to replace it by open circuit because internal resistance of ideal current source is infinite. Voltage source, we need to replace by short circuit because internal resistance of ideal voltage source is 0. So, I will write over here 10 ampere current source. is open circuited and 20 volt voltage source we will short circuit. So, let us see how the resultant circuit will look like. Twenty volt is shorted, ten ampere is open and these terminals will be open ended A and B. And across here we need to find out R n using series parallel combinations. Now see properly this 3 ohm is connected across a short circuit because of that I can say it is redundant. So, 3 ohm is redundant. What is the meaning of a redundancy? As if 3 ohm is not there in a the circuit. So, the equivalent circuit will look like this. Only one resistance you will have and that is of 6 ohm. So, across these two points R n we will get as 6 ohm. Now, the third and last step is Norton's equivalent circuit. Here I will have a current source of a value i n and parallel to it I will have a resistance called as R n. So, i n we got 13.3333 ampere and R n we got as 6 ohm and these are the terminals A and B. So, what we have done? We have replaced the original circuit which is like this by a current source with a single resistance parallel to it by using Norton's theorem. So, in subsequent videos, we will solve more numericals based on Norton's theorem. Thank you.